This is the first in a series that will show you how to design and publish forms for your website and then use the data collected to create tailored documents. Zoom Forms provides two distinct benefits for your business. Firstly, Zoom Forms reduces your labour costs and improves compliance and consistency through automation of documents. Secondly, Zoom Forms provides you with a way to put your forms and documents on your website and sell direct to your clients. It's quite easy for anyone who runs a business to understand the value this can provide. But there is a reason most businesses have not used automation to do either of these things. Existing systems are both too expensive and hard to understand. Zoom Forms dramatically reduces the cost and complexity involved and is powerful enough to deal with any forms and documents your business may have. Once you have registered and logged in, you will see the Your Forms page. This page will show a list of forms you have designed and published. As this is a new account, there are none showing yet. So I'm going to get started by clicking the New Form button. This is the Form Builder. On the left is a toolbox with controls that you drag and drop onto the design area on the right. These controls provide input fields such as text boxes, emails, numbers, lists, um, even file uploads and signatures. In this first demo, I'm going to add some basic fields to capture a name and address. OK, so I'm going to drag the person control from the toolbox onto the design area. I'm also going to drag the address control onto the design area. This is going to be used for a job application form, so I'm going to make a couple of layout changes. First I'm going to click the properties of the main section. In the section heading, I'm going to change this to applicant details. Oops. And click OK. I'm also going to turn the label on for the search for address field. Zoom Forms uses field names when it creates a document from the data that your users enter into a form. So I'm going to just change a couple of the default field names by clicking on the field and in the field name typing the new field. I'm going to do the middle as well. And the last. And click OK. And finally, the applicant address. So right now we've created a pretty simple form that collects an applicant's name details and, and some address information. So let's have a look at what that looks like when you fill it out. But before we do that, we'll have to save the form. So under the form, I click save, let's give it a name. And click save form. Cool. We're ready to have a go. I'm going to click preview form. Just wait for a moment for it to load. And we have our form ready to fill out. cool thing about the formatted address is that it can look up addresses for you. Let's just scroll down to the bottom here and click the submit button. If you're wondering what they did, the form submitted a record. So let's go and have a look in your records. 
Your records is a screen where you can see the list of form submissions. You'll notice that there's already a job application submission showing, which is the form we just previously submitted. You'll also notice above it that it says record name not specified. That's because Zoom Forms allows you to use a form submission more than once, not only for the form that you entered the information into originally, but for a second, third or even fourth form. This means that a job application could be created for Bob Smith, then reused for a response form without having to re-key anything twice. But going back a step, let's just change the original job application form so that it has a record name. So I'm going to click on the first tab, which is our job application form, and I'm going to set a property on one of the fields. So by clicking on long name, it pops up the properties, and you see an option here called field is record name. I'm going to click that and then click OK. But this time on the form menu, I'm going to click Save and Publish. Back at your records, I'm going to hover my mouse over Job Application. One of the links here is Open Form. When I click on it, it's going to open the form and open the information that I previously saved. I'm not going to make any changes right now, I'm just going to resubmit the form. Once that's finished, click back on your records. Now the difference here we can see is that the record has a name called Bob Smith. The reason that shows is that we chose a field to be the record name for this form. If you just want to view this job application without opening it in the form, hover your mouse and press summary. And you just get a basic table with the labels next to it showing the information submitted in the form. Thanks for watching this first video. In the second video we're going to show you how to create a document from the form in this first step. Thanks for watching, look forward to seeing you soon.